Günaydınlar, günaydınlar. They saw land and they, and they went, they first saw, they first saw the Indians, the American mm -hmm. Indians here in Wellfleet. Cape Cod's the oldest place in the United States, but it's also very young considering your country, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's yeah. only 400 years old, that's nothing. We'll go see this chain yes, right here. They, used to be able to go past that and there was a road, but the road went over the dune. There's no road anymore. They actually moved that lighthouse back. Got a mind, but even that could change. You could flip the gray matter like some batter in your brain. Uh, that's why to say, fake it till you make it, a. Eh? And if you play that game, then you just might make a change. Rearrange all the bad to okay. Take the worst. <laughs> oh my god. Evet merhabalar merhabalar sabah kayıt alıyoruz. O zaman ne diyoruz? Günaydınlar günaydınlar. Ee, Cape Cod'dayız yine ve gördüğünüz gibi montlarımızı çektik. Aşırı soğuk. Bakmayın güneşin olduğuna. Çok aldatıcı bir güneştir. Baya soğuk donuyoruz burada. Gece yani ısıtıcıyı sonuna kadar dayıyorum. O kadar bir soğuk var. Ee, sezonu da kapatmak üzereyiz. Hani Kasım ayına gireceğiz artık. Ee, o yüzden burası da bomboş. Kimsecikler yok. 15 kişiden fazla kaldığımız otelde artık sadece 2 kişi kaldık. Old tayfa, old school'lar olarak kaldık burada. Ee, restoranı kapatacağız zaten son haftamız. Sabah da otele gitmiyorum artık, kahvaltı vermiyorum. O yüzden ee, sabahları artık toparlanmaya başladım. Ben de gidiyorum buradan, bay bay kefkat diyeceğim. Gitmeden evvel ee, şefimle birlikte bir video çekelim dedik. Şefimin aracı çok güzel, çok özel. O aracı sizlere de göstereceğim. Üçüncü senemde bakın gidiyorum. Mutlaka gitmeden önce o araçla bir tur atmışımdır. Bana hayranlık bırakan bir araç kendisine. Ee, o şekilde gelip birazdan kendisi beni alacak. Sonra işte malum havalar soğudu. Aracımın lastik basıncında bir problem oldu. Onu kontrol edeceğiz beraber. Ki aletlerini getirecek. Sonrasında hep beraber gideceğiz, süreceğiz arabayı. Görün bakalım araba nedir, nasıl olur. Gerçek araba. Hep beraber göreceğiz. Haydi bakalım. Evet geldi geldi geldi. <laughs> Good morning. My chef is here. Chevy is here. Look at this car. Oh my god. <laughs> Two exhaust. <laughs> yeah, this is the one I'm talking about, the real car. It's a uh, 327. 327 small block Chevy. 327. Okay, that's how clean it is. Aluminum uh, quick flow cylinder heads on it. It goes pretty good. It's probably about 400 horsepower, maybe 420. Horsepower? Yeah. 420? Yeah. But a good daily driver. It's actually really good on gas. It gets good gas mileage because it's got it's a small uh, displacement motor, so it doesn't really rely on a lot right. of. It's 1972, right? Yep. 1972. How many miles do you put on it? Uh, right now, it's got about just over a hundred. So 100, over, over 100, it's like 120 right now. Use your moving mill. So great. Only driving on sunny days. Only driving at sunny days. Yeah. Only driving when it's there's no traffic. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look at <the> interior. <laughs> Alligator. 
an alligator. Watch out for the alligator. Yeah. Oh. Good. I'm ready for Florida now. Don't worry, he doesn't bite. <laughs> Seats are really big. Very big. Like you can sit feet, three people back there, no problem. Yeah, you can, you can put two people in the trunk. <laughs> we went to Chicago with Nate's car. It's Hyundai, like yeah. 2020 car. Yeah. It's four, it says four door, but the, the rear seat of this car is bigger than the Hyundai. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. I noticed. Yeah. These. The, you know, they've done a better, a really good job maximizing all the square inches in the new cars. Most of the companies have. These cars, you know, everything was bigger than it really needed to be. Oh, yeah. Everything is steel, everything's made out of metal. 
you know this particular model the 72 model oh they took out the they took out the bank teller oh here oh it's over there i gotta go around again <laughs> they took it they, the bank teller used to be right there so guys we came to the bank in america you can see the banks are also having drive through yeah <laughs> just like you give them make order on Mac mcdonald's <laughs> you putting <laughs> money in like mcdonald's <laughs> taking, or money out, taking money out of mcdonald's <laughs> yeah right here there's atm you can do in the car i will cut it here for security <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> nice waves, look at that. <laughs> I'll see you later for security. <laughs> After 60 days spent, 66 days spent on a cramp confines of a small ship, it took them 66 days to go from Europe to here. And then when they got here, they sighted, they saw land and they took their boat down here and they almost got stuck because it got shallow on them. And then they went back over here and then they went all the way around and to P-Town and then they eventually went over here after, after staying here for... November, December 15th. So they, they actually hung out here for a month before they went across. Oh. You know what I mean? I thought they are at first Plymouth. Then no, they no, they actually came to Cape Cod first and then discovered that there was more land across and then they took the boat across. Oh. And that's when they, Plymouth Rock gets all the credit, but actually they were here a month before. So, so guys, I gave you wrong uh, information about Plymouth because I've been in Plum Plymouth I recorded oh, a video, yeah, then I sure. said this is the first place, then this is the rock, they put the first step, then, nope. but it's not true. <laughs> they, they, came actually, they actually it. came down, they came up here and they actually took Antarctica. a small boat and they went, they first saw, they first saw the Indians, the American mm -hmm. Indians here in Wellfleet and Truro because they actually took a small boat off the big boat to land and then they discovered that there were Indians and then they went back on the boat and then they went around and it's parked uh, in, in Provincetown. Uh, Provincetown. And then they started basically doing, uh, uh, they, they went sightseeing to see what was going on and they could tell that there were people living here, but it was the American Indians. And they actually became friends with them and they helped them survive that winter. Uh, it's because no one yeah. in there in December. So they, they first saw land on November 9th and then eventually 11th through the 15th, they saw that. Then they went over to Plymouth. And then I believe they spent like six months on Cape Cod before they actually settled in Plymouth. So it was wrong. Yeah. It's amazing though. The history is pretty amazing. Yes. And it was a really, really, really bad day for sailing. I remember the story I was told was like a big nor'easter was happening. So they couldn't get, they couldn't park the boat. It was a good thing because if they parked the boat this close and then a storm came, they would uh -huh. the boat would have gotten destroyed. Oh yes, you know what I mean? Because they would have been too close to land. But they happened to come on land. They happened to come down when there was a big storm happening. So they stayed about two miles out to sea, and they sent a smaller boat to land to see what the, what was what it looked like. You know? Oh yeah. And they had a fucking hell of a time getting back out to the big boat. <laughs> Because their their water was cold and it was a big storm, you know. Oh yeah. So, I like, like this kind of historical things. That's pretty amazing. We we you know Cape Cod's the oldest place in the United States when you look at it, the history. It's old. But it's also very young considering your country. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's yeah. only 400 years old. That's nothing compared to the rest of the world. Evet, yolumuza devam ediyoruz. Nasıl? Light Beach. Ya, you used to be able to 
go, used to be able to go, see this chain yes, right here? This, this, this. Used to be able to go past that and there was a road, but the road went over the dune. There's no road anymore. So ocean ate it? it? Ocean ate the road, yeah, like 10 years ago. And then now the road goes nowhere. Oh, it's actually pretty crowded here. Yeah, this one, this one, this is Nosset Light Beach. Um, gets a little bit more activity. But it's, you know, it's Coast Guards. I like Coast Guard better. This is all new. They just built these. Yeah, it seems like. They're brand new this year. They pushed them back. They used to be up here, and they were about to go over the dunes, so they took them off. This parking lot used to be twice as long all the way out. Oh, wow. But it's all gone now. Like, it used to be so much further out. They actually moved that lighthouse back. That lighthouse oh. used to be further forward. They keep moving everything back because everything keeps going over the dune. You can see they have area closed because you used to be able to walk up and look over the dune, but they, the dune keeps falling over, so they just closed everything off. You see right it's there. It's kind of scary. There's the edge of the dune right there. Yeah, it yeah. is. And it, like this guaranteed this winter, we'll lose another 10 feet. So I'm recording it. I will see what's going to happen next year. Yeah, exactly. You come back here next year, and that fence, the second fence will be the first fence. It just keeps falling into the ocean. Global warming. Wow. There used to be a house in front of this house. And all the houses keep falling over the dune. And they, they always just move the, the, the, uh, the lighthouse back. That house, that lighthouse has been moved twice now. And it costs a lot when of money. When was the last time they moved it? Uh, like, I want to say like 20 years ago, they moved it back like 100 feet. And now it looks like it's about ready. They got to move it back again pretty soon. I mean, we'll see. And we've had a lot of, lot of, a lot of bad storms in the winter, man, I'll tell you. This is Three Sisters Lighthouse. Where is it? These three lighthouses used to be out there too. These are smaller ones. And these lighthouses used to be on the ocean too, but they brought them back and made more of a museum out of them. So you can see those three Sisters Yes, lighthouses. three. And those used to be up on the beach too, but they took them back and saved them actually. Wow restored them and made it like a small museum so that's a fun, has some fun history if you go up there you can read the history on those lighthouses so i, I will see the history i yeah. think one of the lighthouses was down in chatham the second one was here and a third one was up near truro and they just put them all on the same property because we don't need okay, them with gps you just don't need lighthouses anymore you know, yes but it's historical you know it is. Sign of and, and, and, uh, and amazingly, this one still works, and they still use this one, but it's not really necessary anymore because all the new ships now have have GPS tracking systems. They know where they are, you know. But that one, they let it run. This is the Nosset High School. Oh, I see. Okay. So here it because 
I thought it was going to be worth money someday. You know what I mean? I didn't realize that was going to happen. You didn't realize. I just got lucky. <laughs> you got lucky because you don't have you didn't have money. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got lucky because I just I had an eye for a cool car, and I just knew it was a, I knew it was a cool car, so I just kept it for that reason. I didn't realize it was going to be everybody Legend. in the world was going to be like, oh my god, you know, it's like. You know, back when I first bought this thing, the only people that would notice it were the police. You know what I mean? And they would just pull you over all the time, like thinking you're speeding everywhere. <laughs> and I was just like, no, actually, I'm not. But they just... And then now it's changed into being more like a classic and people just appreciate it, you know? Yeah. But back in the old days, you were... You were driving too Criminal. fast. If you, you were, were in Criminal. one of these, you were racing somebody. You know what I mean? Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go, go, go, go, go. Hustle lot, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave Through uh, the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway It's a nice range Cause I'm grind through the climb I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief uh, Better see with the negativity but I just slide right by that energy Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never ran to the no man, I still go Go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go Some batter in your brain uh, That's why they say Fake it till you make it eh? And if you play that game Then you just might make a change We your range on the bad to a Yeah, he's in it Don't, please Don't do it <laughs> No Go the other way, go the other way Go the other way, go the other way I'm looking at your little thing Go ahead <laughs> Well, I figured it from that far over That's fine Good It is perfect No parking <laughs> Okay <laughs> I'm not parking, <laughs> I'm moving. <laughs> Evet, videoyu burada bitireceğiz. Burada son kayıtları, fotoğrafları çekeceğiz. Şefimize teşekkürümüzü edeceğiz. En güzel yer Beach'te arabamızla. Sesi de çok güzel. Bura bu şekilde Haydi bakalım. Oh my god, guys. Bu ne be? Bu ne be? Bu arabaysa bizim minniklerimiz ne be? İşte bu. Kokuyor çok güzel koktu. <gülüyor> Hello? Who is here? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fun. This is the thing, how we getting fun here, we're gonna get arrested. We're gonna get arrested. I'm not ready to get arrested. Like, hey, what's that fucking noise? <laughs> That's so great there. Thank you so much for everything. <laughs> and 
thank you so much for taking me out today. That's gonna be funny if we got pulled over and we could record it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't wanna record it. I can't delete this video. Okay, thank you so much. Good night. Good night. <laughs> we are we go we gotta work. We are chef. We don't have too much time. <laughs>